Hello, and welcome to the latest episode, installment, whatever you want to call these things, of Roy's Book Reviews. It is the day after Thanksgiving 2020 when I am filming this, so I want to wish everybody a belated Thanksgiving and happy Leftovers Day. Whether you chose to um, risk seeing um, family and friends or you decide to play it on the safe side and um, do your festivities at home, I um, wish you the best of health and um, hoping that 2021 um, is much, much, much better than 2020 was. All right, so I'm going to turn off this royalty-free music that I chose from Spotify, and I am almost ready to get to uh, today's review, which will be of the novel Freedom by Jonathan Franzen. But first, I want to show you something. This is my debut children's book, The Absolutely Amazing Adventures of Ava Applesauce. And I received my, op my office copies today. Um, I am the author. My wife, Erin, is the illustrator. It is now available for purchase at Amazon. I believe it makes a wonderful gift uh, for all of the young readers in your life, for those uh, perhaps a little too young for doing their own reading, so being read to bedtime, um, daytime, whenever it is, um, they're in the mood for a good book. Um, so once again, there it is, The Absolutely Amazing Adventures of Ava Applesauce. I am very excited to have this book out. Now I am going to get to Jonathan Franzen's novel, Freedom. First, I'm going to tell you uh, about the pluses of this book. Jonathan Franzen is a fantastic writer. And towards the end of Freedom, which I'm going to say right now is a rather rambling novel, I was uh, quite absorbed and truly felt that I knew and understood the main characters and found myself caring um, and hoping for the best. Um, so those are the pluses. Um, the minuses. I think Franzen could have accomplished just as much with not nearly as much. He gives a great deal of detail about areas that I frankly did not care all that much about. I am marginally interested at best in bird migration patterns and the environmental politics of overpopulation. Even if I found these subjects to be fascinating, when reading a novel, I'd still want less data and more story. A good novel is often one that is well-researched but they're sharing information in a way that's interesting and advances the narrative. And then there's oversharing every bit of knowledge acquired on a topic, whether critical to plot de development or not. Some readers will be strongly tempted to skim certain parts of this novel. And if they do, I can't say um, they'd miss all that much. They certainly wouldn't lose track of the storyline, which considering the bulk and page count of freedom, is relatively straightforward, despite not being told in linear fashion. Freedom is the story of a marriage, the two people within it and the loved ones closest to it. Uh, the couple in this marriage uh, have two children, a boy who is who a considerable portion of the book focuses on, and a girl who is really just a secondary character. Had it been the other way around, the story would have been minimally impacted. The most significant person in Walter and Patty's lives is Richard Katz. Walter basically has a guy crush on his college roommate uh, who ends up becoming a rock star. And Patty has romantic slash sexual interest in Richard that eventually is acted upon. Walter later gets a romantic interest outside of their marriage as well, with the much younger uh, Lalitha, who works for him, 
and basically lives with him and Patty. Patty is jealous of Lalitha from the get-go, well before um, things get romantic between her and Walter. Um, even though, at that time, Walter is about as loyal a guy as you can find. Until he gets cheated on, that is. This is just one of many ways that Patty, over the years, has become increasingly overbearing. Good old Walter trusts both his wife and his best friend completely until he finds out that they have betrayed him, which is especially overwhelming uh, since their relationship got started in the first place when Patty didn't screw Walter over by screwing his best friend, though this is due to Richard's restraint, not Patty's. The latter part of freedom, after Walter finds out about the affair that his wife finally allows herself to have, along with the rather poor opinion she's held about him throughout their relationship, um, which Walter discovers. Um, this is by far the book's strongest section, and ultimately, I would say, made freedom worth reading through to the end. I'm glad that I overrode my impulse to quit on account of waning interest in the lives of rather self-absorbed people. Franzen writes about these characters rather than through them which makes it harder to care about them, particularly when what they're doing and going through is not all that riveting. But he writes so well that I held fast to the belief that if I kept with it, I would eventually be rewarded for my perseverance. And so I was. I know there are people who think more highly of this book than I do, because Francis Franzen received a much public praise for freedom. He receives much public praise for pretty much anything that he writes. He also receives a lot of criticism because um, uh, people consider him to be a bit of a jerk. Um, and I do know people who gave up on Franzen or gave up on freedom by Franzen rather than pushing through. And I see that point of view as well. Hence this uh, mixed review. But I do tend to give more credit um, for finishing strong than starting strong, and Freedom definitely finishes quite strongly. Uh, Franzen's prose earns my utmost respect. The ultimate thing a novel should accomplish, in my opinion, um, is not achieving a certain rating. I went with four stars um, out of five on Goodreads, rather generously, because the writing is exquisite and... Um, it went out um, on some strong notes. Um, but making readers want to read the author's next book is, I feel, a primary goal of the book that you're reading. And I'm not sure if um, that ended up being the case um, with this one here, um, based on how hard he needlessly, um, I feel, made me fight to make it through. Um, there are three star reviews um, of books um, that I've given where I felt much more interested in reading something else by that author um, than I did in reading more Franzen after reading this book that I gave four stars to. I may ultimately um, read something else by him, but maybe I won't. Um, there's no denying that along with turning research notes into not particularly necessary prose, when he gets back to the actual story, um, the guy sure can write. So if you are in the mood for just reading excellent um, prose in literary fiction canon by um, a master at the game, you may want to check Freedom out. If you um, don't want to learn a whole lot of about bird migration, you may want to skip this one. Um, maybe check another friends and book out or a book by another author. Perhaps you're in the mood for reading a children's book, such as The Absolutely Amazing Adventures of Ava Applesauce. Makes a great um, holiday gift, stocking stuffer, fits right in there. Okay, until next time, this is Roy of Roy's Book Reviews, signing out.